Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the Metal Magdalene with Jet here on Metal Messiah Radio. Now, as you know, we here at this station are committed to bringing you the best underground music as well as some of the more established bands. And today, my guest is Eric Burnett, and he is going to introduce us to his band, uh oh, Simscaris. How do you say your band? Simscaris. I was right. Well, welcome to the show, Eric. Thanks for having me. So, Eric, growing up in. Montreal, I'm going to assume that's where you grew up. Who were yeah. some of your metal influences prior to starting this band? Um, I think my first influence from the hometown here would be, uh, was probably Quivatis. Mm-hmm. Um, and there, I don't know if, you, if, if they've made it much to the States, but there's a band called Anonymous, which is like anonymous, but it, for now we, they're a francophone band, so we pronounce them that way and Cryptopsy. And those three I kind of discovered around the same time. And I was into uh, Metallica and Megadeth before that when I was maybe, you know, 10 to 12 years old. And as I started as an early teenager, uh, when I discovered death metal and I realized that it was being made in a big way right here all around me, uh, I really just got into it and it became my thing. And and were those some of the bands that you were going to see when you were up there? Were you going to go, were like you out seeing Cryptopsy and all those guys? Because they probably played around town quite often. Yeah, um, it's always weird, like uh, at first when you're a teenager, because a lot of the shows uh, in the Montreal area are in clubs and stuff, so it's 18 plus here. Um, but the first actually he- like heavy, very heavy band I saw was the one I mentioned, and then you missed, they played at the. Uh, Boucherville Rock Fest, which Boucherville is the suburb I grew up in, and uh, I just went kind of as a, you know as a kid, you go to the show that you can go to, right? And I, I think it was fourteen or fifteen, and they played, and they sound kind of like a, a mix between Slayer and Pantera with, with a bunch of death metal thrown in, and I was just like, oh, this is the thing, like this is great. So that that was my first live experience with that kind of stuff. So was it this experience that you were like, hey, I got to do this? Yeah, well, I had started playing guitar and uh, seeing those guys and that they were they were just nuts live. And I was like, this is great. I, I can do this if I work hard enough. So, so I, I did. So, okay, so then, Eric, tell us about starting the band. Sure. Uh, so Sam Scaris is kind of like uh, my newer project i was in a band called derelict for a long time for uh i guess almost 10 years um which i started when i was 20 and we toured canada a bunch and we released a couple of albums uh the last one was called perpetuation and uh, we got pretty good reception um and when that band kind of fizzled out uh i was still really motivated and i was managing the band at the time and i was one of the main songwriters so I just continued immediately, um, and some of the stuff I had been writing for Derelict ended up being Sam Scaris, uh, notably the first single we ever put out in 2014, which is a song called Consecrate. Originally, that was a Derelict song, and then when the band split up and I realized I wanted to do this a, as a studio project right away, I just I kind of changed it because I was now playing all the instruments except the drums. So I remodeled it to fit my own playing more, um, and I just kept going from there. Uh, and it's been—I'm hoping to bring Sam Scaris live now, but it's been a studio project up till now that um, my drummer Alex does the drums, but every other aspect of the, the band has been handled by me, uh, which is a new experience. I didn't used to work that way. I, Derelict was a very um, democratic band that you know you had five people voting on every song, every decision. So, uh, yeah, it was just a transition and it was my way of continuing to make music, uh, in the, you know, the challenge that we face as independent underground musicians who have to have other lives and other things going on at the same time. So now that you're speaking about doing this live experience, that means now you have to what, go out, recruit more members for your band? Yeah. Um, so currently, I'm uh, I'm looking for live members. So I on on the recordings currently. I as I said, I play everything except the drums. But live, I'm really more of a vocalist. Um, I don't the the way the Samskaras songs are written. 
Um, I can't really sing and play them at the same time because the vocals are written in a complex way that doesn't take into account the guitar parts. So I'm basically in the process of rec recruiting two live guitar players and a bass player. Uh, so I'm talking to a lot of uh, established uh, metal musicians in Montreal, which there is no shortage of. Um, so hopefully in the next couple of months we'll be able to announce the live lineup and we'll do a couple of things with that. So, so, so tell us a little bit about your music then. How would you describe it? Um, it's funny, uh, in the last, so the, the EP came out, uh, the new EP came out on the 20th of January. Um, and since then, there's been a bunch of reviews and stuff, and it seems that we've fallen pretty much into the technical death metal slash progressive death metal kind of, uh, spectrum. Uh, but prior to that, I had purposefully not even, I tried not to even think about it. I was trying to write, uh, from a perspective of, just emotion and just try to be artistic and, and come up with whatever was inside me, make that into a song without thinking, oh, this sounds more like this genre, so I won't use it. No, I just did whatever. Um, but it seems like I'm too, I guess I've always been close to the tech death uh, scene. My old band, Derelict, was that as well. So uh, that's what people seem to hear. Uh, but a lot of people have mentioned uh, you know, our, our use of clean vocals on certain parts and uh, some more progressive stuff. So it fits into that general progressive technical death metal <laughs> overall approach. So you told us that, you know, when you write songs lyrically, you just kind of write about emotions and stuff like that. How do you guys, do you write everything yourself or do you and Alex write together? Uh, so uh, musically, what I do, all my writing is done uh, music first, and I'll come up with, I'll usually write with a guitar, and then once I have an idea, I'll add a second guitar and then the bass, and I usually lay down a foundation, uh, like a basic drum track or just general ideas, so that I can practice to it for, it's like, it's better to practice to some, some drums, um, and then also so that I can show Alex kind of generally what I have in mind and then I just tell him do whatever you want on that as long as you're not like completely changing the entire idea um, and then we work through that together uh, and then I write the lyrics based on whatever is going on so lyrically it's like um, so the, the name of the band if you take the the s at the end away a samskara uh, in Hinduism and Buddhism is like a um, it's like the idea that when you have an experience or something meaningful happens to you in your life, it leaves kind of an emotional imprint. So the other things, when you continue in your life, you're kind of influenced by all the samskaras that you accumulate, right? So it could be trauma or it could be good things or just your impressions and experiences. So I try to write all the songs are like, impressions that I had about something. So it could be like the opening track on the EP, Fuelscape, is just about like the horror that I felt at learning about the environmental destruction that we're doing in Alberta, in Canada with the, the oil sands. Um, so instead of addressing that topic directly, it's addressing like the feeling of horror that I carry when, th when I think about that. Uh, so it can be any topic like that, but I try to, I try to make it from that kind of emotional perspective. So you're already kind of answering my next question, or I was going to ask you a little bit about uh, your new EP, Asunder. Uh, so, so tell us a little bit more about this particular EP and where you were going with it lyrically and musically as well. Cool. Um, so musically, uh, the songs came together. Um, they were the first ones some of the music was still stuff I had banked from the derelict days um, and I, I like I was really reflecting on what what is Samskaras and how is it different from derelict and I really uh, kind of wanted to just evolve and, and not force like I was saying force any particular genre um, so I did some experimentation like there's some clean vocals which I had never done in metal before um, so it's just about, this is what this band sounds like right now. We're trying stuff, uh, and it's, people seem to really like it. So I'm happy about that. It seems to the experiment worked. 
Um, and lyrically, uh, I didn't really do this on purpose, but I realized that once the four songs were written, that um, there's kind of two duos of songs. There's uh, one that talks about like that horror about environmental destruction, and then it has a counterpoint in the song Solar, which kind of talks about the potential that humanity has if we kind of got our shit together and develop technologies and stop killing each other, we could become a galactic civilization. We could actually expand beyond the earth and if we really embraced all of our positive characteristics. So it's like the, the two options that you could go as civilization, bad and good. Uh, then the other two songs, Separate and Conqueror, are a similar dichotomy, but it's more on the personal level, like uh, depression, feeling completely disconnected, uh, from people uh, being sad over lost relationships. Uh, and then that's separate. And then the counterpoint to that conqueror is just like, it's a song about overcoming everything that can come your way and just kicking ass and not giving up every day. So it's like, that's what asunder, it's like torn asunder, two different ways that mm -hmm. things can go. Mm -hmm. Now, is this going to be available in any other form than digital? Uh, I hope that it will be when I put out a second EP. So my intention is, uh, in, and this will either be from Samskaris or if my other band, Unburnt, uh, gets an EP done before. So I'm kind of going to race the two bands and see what happens. Because I would like to put out a physical product that has more than four songs on it at once for the people who are buying it. And also for um, just, you know, full disclosure, as an independent musician, we're, you know, I'm funding everything myself. And it's, it's a big financial risk to print off a lot of physical copies for something as small as an EP. Because if no one buys it, I'm out. It's not like a label. They can balance out their risk with a lot of releases. When the band is paying everything themselves, there's a lot of risk involved there. So uh, I'm hoping to put together a second release that I can combine into two before I do that. Now, are you looking for labels to back you, or do you prefer to do this by yourself? I, I mean, I'm always open to anything. Um, I feel like when I was working with Derelict for over those 10 years, we spent a lot of time worrying about career arc and if we were contacting the right people and doing the right things. And um, now I'm just more focused on the artistic side of it. We put out the music and we do a little bit of promotion. We reach out to people like yourself who promote bands and help the scene. Um, and if people come back to us, great. But I, I'm not, I don't really intend my, to spend my time chasing labels at this point. If somebody hears us and wants to talk, we're all ears, but we're not going to waste too much time on that. I'd rather be writing music and putting together a live lineup. That's my priority right now. And so, Eric, where can people go to to find out more about your band and, and what's going on with you guys? So, yeah, if, uh, if people head to the URL samscarasmetal.com, uh, that'll redirect them to the band camp. That's like our main hub. Um, and samscarus Metal on Facebook as well. Uh, we update, we have a lot of content there. Um, uh, we're on Twitter, although you won't find anything more than what's on Facebook. Uh, and people can check out my own YouTube channel. That's where I host the Samskaris stuff. It's uh, Eric Burnett Music, the channel, because I have, I have an acoustic music project as well that I host on there. And I link to my old music and my other bands. So it's like all of my stuff is in one, in one place on YouTube. Okay, Eric. Well, thank you for taking the time to come on the show to introduce us to your band, Sam Scaras. And we'll be playing some of the music off of Asunder. And all the best to you and Alex. And we look forward to seeing you out there on the scene. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, the interview.